Hello everyone and welcome to this new CLASS webinar. My name is Jean-François Materne and I'm the Marketing and Communication Manager at CLASS. Today we are glad to present you our webinar entitled Enhance the quality of your XRF data by using the best weighing methods for simple preparation by Fusion. Our host today will be Chantal Odette, Product Manager for CLASS Instrument. Good morning Chantal. Good morning Jean-François. Good morning everyone. And our co-host for today will be Mathieu Bouchard, Expertise Leader at CLASS. Good morning, Mathieu. Good morning, Jean-François. Chantal and Mathieu will give you all the details about our studies on the weighing step, but before they start, let me explain how this webinar will be conducted. So, this is a 20-minute webinar. We will save a few minutes at the end of the presentation to answer your question. Regarding the question, please note that you can post them at any time during the presentation. There is a chat, a chat box on the left of your screen that can be used to send us comments or questions all along the webinar. If you don't have time to answer all, if we don't have time to answer all the questions, we will come back to you individually as soon as possible. Now I'll let you with Mathieu and Chantal for the rest of the presentation. Thank you, Jean-François. Before detailing the weighing studies, we wanted to make a quick introduction about why we consider the weighing steps so important in sample preparation by fusion, particularly for light major elements that are affected by mineral mineralogical and particle size effects in pressed powders. First, sample preparation by fusion is known as being the best method to enhance the accuracy and precision of XRF analytical results in many applications. Nevertheless, special considerations have to be taken into account when preparing the sample prior to fusion. We then ensure that we benefit from all the advantages of this glass disk preparation technique. During the whole process, I mean here from sampling to the final XRF analysis, we need to minimize the errors. You can see here the calculations of the accumulation of errors in the XRF analytical process. All of our customers insist on the quality of the fusion equipment, XRF spectrometer, and calibration. They indeed need to be highly performant to allow you to get high quality analytical results. Upstream, we have the errors that comes from the sampling. Using representative samples is obviously essential. The sample treatment as well as the fusion steps are also potential sources of error. But even with a perfect control of the sampling, fusion and XRF analysis, the results will be affected by the weighing errors. Weighing is often a neglected step in the sample preparation process. This study shows examples of the real impact of the weighing method on analytical results. By keeping all the other possible sources of errors constant, we isolated and tested the weighing process. We want you to be aware of the impact of the weighing process and how this step can be optimized. Minimizing the weighing errors will help you to enhance the quality of your XRF data. The goal of the study was to quantify the effects of the selected weighing techniques and their tolerances on the XRF results. In order to do so, we compared the most common weighing techniques used to prepare samples by fusion, and these are catch weight and sample to flux ratio. We compared an automated flux weighing instrument to manual weighing. Pre-weighed flux vials have also been tested. Finally, we tried that different weighing tolerances for ratio mode. Now, regarding the results. To compare the performances of the weighing techniques, we use the relative standard deviation, RSD. For each different weighing techniques and different tolerances, 20 glass discs have been produced. The RSD has been calculated by compiling the result obtained with 20 replicates for the oxides concentrations. For each test, we also recorded the average time required by the operator to perform the task and we compared it for all of the different weighing techniques. 
As we will demonstrate later on, the main conclusions of our study are First, the repeatability of results can be greatly improved by using automated weighing with Leisler Doser. It also saves a great amount of time. Second, we found out that the best weighing method to enhance the, the repeatability of analytical results is to use the sampler to flux ratio mode, once again, with the doser instrument. Now let's see what was our experimental method and the results that we obtained. The automated weighing has been performed with Clay's Le Doser automatic weigher. This instrument weights and dispenses for its flux with high precision to achieve constant and on-target results. A Clay's Le Neo automatic fusion instrument was used to generate all the glass discs. Its outstanding temperature control and excellent insulation properties allow uniform heating conditions, thus providing repeatable and reproducible fusion conditions. A panoptical spectrometer was used to collect all data. We conducted the study with iron ores. We used the method previously described in the CLAIS application note related to ISO 9516-1. We selected a certified reference material with interesting levels of different major and minor elements. Because it is easier to isolate the weighing error on elements with higher content, we reported the results for the following components iron oxide, silica, alumina, and calcium oxide. We will now have a look at the different weighing modes used in this study. Let's start with the catch weight mode. When used in catch weight mode, the doser dispenses a predetermined quantity of flux regardless of the quantity of sample added. To give you a better idea of how this is done, have a look at the video. The operator chooses the catch weight mode on the interface. The sample is then weighed on the scale up to the needed quantity. Then the sample ID is entered to facilitate the sample tracking. The doser will dispense 10 grams of flux as pre-programmed. The final weighing results are displayed on the screen. We took routine weighing and tolerances values used by our customers. It means weighing 0.66 plus or minus 0.045 gram of sample in the crucible made of 95% platinum and 5% gold on the scale of the automatic weigher. Le Dosar dispensed 6.8 gram of flux in the same crucible. We then installed this crucible directly on Lenio fusion instrument. Let's now talk about the sample to flux ratio mode. Le Dosar dispenses the flux according to the weight of the sample that has been added in the crucible to obtain the exact requested sample to flux ratio. Watch this short video illustrating how this method is done on a doser. The sample to flux ratio mode program is selected. In this case, a first shot of 1 gram of flux is dispensed. The sample identification can be done with a barcode reader to facilitate the, the tracking of the sample. The sample is then added on the doser scale. When the target mass of sample is reached, the interface shows the sample weight on a green background. After the sample is weighed, the doser dispenses the flux to reach the exact target sample to flux ratio with 
the tolerance set in the weighing program. In this case, the ratio that has been requested for a doser is 1 to 10.3. Our technician roughly weighed the sample in the crucible with big tolerance on the automatic weigher scale. The flux has then been dispensed by the doser. When using the weighing mode, we don't need a tight tolerance on the sample because the flux quantity will be adjusted according to the sample weight. However, it is important to know that we need to fix a limit for the sample quantity on the doser. This limit makes sure that the total quantity of flux and sample do not exceed the crucible and mold capacity or that if an oxidizer as is requested, it will be added in sufficient quantity. We ask one of our experienced technicians to do the manual weighing test. We weighed the sample with the different tested tolerances directly in the crucible on a laboratory scale. The flux has been added in the crucible and then the crucible was installed in Le Neo instrument. Since this webinar addresses an audience having different level of knowledge in XRF spectroscopy, we wanted to remind you that the catch weight and pre-weight vials necessitate weight correction in the spectrometer software. As a proof, you can see here the results on our tested samples. You can see that there are major differences. The blue arrows, arrows show the non-corrected values. In fact, the RSD is up to 23 times higher without weight corrections. We tested different flux tolerances to demonstrate their effect on the analytical results when using the sample to flux ratio mode. As shown on the graph, we tested tolerances between 1 mg and 20 mg. The results show that we improved the repeatability by 2.3 times when tightening the flux tolerance. It is also important to note that when using the doser instrument, the operator does not need to spend more time to perform the weighing step when the flux tolerance tightens. It is not the case with manual weighing. Now that we know that the tendency is the same for all elements, let's focus on the iron oxide. This oxide has the result with the best precision since it is, by far, the major element. We can see on this graph that using the optimal ratio mode leads to a better repeatability. Even when using very tight tolerances on flux and samples in manual mode, it wasn't possible to reach the repeatability of the ratio mode. In fact, the RSD when using the sample to flux mode is 2.5 times lower than when using manual weighing. If we compare automated weighing to manual weighing, we clearly see that automated process avoid manipulation errors and fatigue. We can now summarize the outcomes of the weighing study. First, it reveals that the weighing technique that leads to the best repeatability is the sample to ratio mode achieved with the doser instrument. The different tolerances tested show significant difference in the RSD for the ratio mode. Using the doser automated instrument requires 10 times less effort. Finally, it is clear that using the doser automated weighing instrument improves weighing precision and productivity. Well, this is the end of this webinar. Thank you Chantal and Mathieu for this presentation. Time is running out, but we can still take one or two quick questions. The first question is, you gave result about operator time, but what about the total weighing time? Um, well, as a matter of fact, we did not insist on the total weighing time, which will indeed depend on the scale, on the installation of the scale, on the method and other factors. Because 
what what we wanted to insist and what we wanted to, to people keep in mind is that automation uh, in, when using automation, the main goal is to decrease the operator time so they can use their time to make more valuable tasks. And in fact, in the case of uh, automated weighing for sample per by fusion, the total weighing time is usually not the limiting factor on, on the productivity. So this is why we, we decided to more insist in, 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 uh, on the presentation about the operator time. And uh, we, we observed that the total weighing time is shorter when using the doser, but the real gain is on the operator effort, as well as in the quality of the results, as, uh, as we saw in the presentation. Second question. Can you explain the result difference between automated and manual weighing? Well, as some of you have noticed, we didn't expect a big difference like that between the ratio mode and the manual mode, since the same tolerances were used for these trials. This shows that the manual operation imply a lot of uncontrolled sources of error. It proves that automated system eliminates some of the sources of error, which give the best precision for this trial. So, unfortunately, we are really running out of time. Thank you for attending this webinar. We still have some unanswered questions, but be sure that one of our, of our specialists will answer them personally as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank Goodbye. you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you. It was a pleasure to have you with us today, and we'll be glad to have you in our next webinars.